Pilahi Paki was born December 29, 1910, in Kaanapali, on the island of Maui. She went to school there, which was a small little school there. It's called Hanapali School. Mrs. Jose got her into Manaolu Seminary here in Makawao. She finished her education there and continued. Then she was sent to Mid Pacific Institute. I must thank my father for having opened that when he says, you will be living in the world, in the Haoli time. And the wise thing to do is to move with the time, because time is a thing that belongs to no one. Pilahi Paki was a philosopher, especially of things Hawaiian. I think Mama was a, uh, everybody's idea of what uh, intellectual Hawaiian would look like. Pilahi was raised at a time when Hawaiian language and Hawaiian ways were discouraged. My father said, there's only one thing I ask of you, my children, and that is, you are Hawaii, and I would appreciate that you remain Hawaii. Jay was my great-grandfather that mapped the conquest of this island, that would decide, that would give an heir to me and me the, what you call, declared as the uh, Napoleon of the Pacific. She married and moved to Honolulu. She worked as a telephone operator, a nurse, a tour guide. Because of her travel business, you know, working as a travel person, she wanted more information so she could share with the tourists. So she went to see this man. She got out of the car. And she walked into the yard, and this old man from inside started chanting, Hele Mai, you know? And, and she walked in the house, and he looked at her, and he said, I've been waiting for you. She had no idea who this man was, okay? And so she went in, and she spent some time with, it, uh, with him, and then he told her, all that I am, and all that, that I have, he said, do you want it? She looked at him in the eye and she told him, no. <laughs> she didn't want it. She didn't know what this guy was talking about. And then he blessed her. He put his hand on her head and she said it was like an electrical shock. Her whole body started vibrating. And I don't know how long it was. And then what that man did was gave her his knowledge, his mana, everything that he knew. He passed on to Pilate, to Pilate with a touch of his hand, and that was it. I learned to appreciate uh, the meanings of words when I met Tutu Nabuhina. Something happened to Pilate that day, and she knew it. In time, people came to Pilahi to learn. She asked me who I was and where are you from? But more profoundly, why are you here? I didn't have prejudice. You know, she taught and gave the same mana to non-Hawaii as she did to Hawaii. We were all the same. That's her legacy that unconditional love. A lot of people found her unapproachable. You know, they were afraid of her. And uh, there were a lot of moments that we would laugh. I mean, laugh, fall down laughing, you know. But you never saw her do that in public. You know, her place in public was a different thing. In 1970, the Governor's Conference on the year 2000 took place. Pilahi Paki was in the audience. A panel of experts was discussing the meaning of aloha. at the East-West Center a few years back, this was in the 1970s. And the topic was, what is Aloha? And they brought people from all over the place. And then this big, huge panel 
of all these uh, educated people or whatever they were, trying to translate the word Allah. And a lot of people said Allah is love, Allah is, uh, means hello, it means goodbye, and all this stuff. But nobody came up with something. Else. She stood up in the middle of the audience and said, Excuse me, this is what Allah is. And before she gave aloha to that audience <clears throat> in respect to her kupuna and her teachers she acknowledged them first and then she gave the meaning of aloha i know one thing that when she did it when she stood up in the audience and she gave the meaning of aloha for the first time in public i share it and share it with you with no attachments because that is aloha in the 1970s, the Sons of Hawaii did a concert in Hanamahui, down in a car pasture. Uh, the Bank of Hawaii set it up. <coughs> we had entertainers from every island, every populated island. Lanai, uh, Big Island, Lanai, Kauai, Maui, Molokai, Oahu, Kaua, uh, and Nihau. My sister-in-law and my brother came from Nihau and they represented Nihau and we all went to Hana together. And that day, they had plenty of kupuna over there. Uh, Kavena was there, and the Alice Namakelua, um, Pilahi, uh, I think Pat Bacon and them were there. You know, they were, all of them were there. Giovanni Luahini was there, and Gabby, Sons of Hawaii, and us. Um, she delivered a lot of their, that was like the maybe second or third time she ever did it in public. The audience all stood up, and she was up there, and the sons of Hawaii were playing. I was in the audience. I was standing uh, next to the actor, uh, Eddie Albert, because he had a place in Hana, I don't know if he still does, but when Pilahi uh, delivered Aloha, he was standing next to me. You know, and I was watching, and I think every person out there, they must have had maybe about, I don't know, maybe about eight, ten thousand 10,000 people. They came from all over the islands. And when she started delivering aloha, I think everybody had tears in their eyes. But Eddie Albert was crying like a baby, you know, because of the emotions that he felt, you know, just from this meaning of aloha. I would like to translate again the A. The first A in aloha is akahai, or meaning kindness to be expressed with a feeling of tenderness. Uh, the O is lokahi. Hawaii meaning unity, to be expressed with a feeling of harmony. The O is Oluulu, to be expressed with a feeling Hawaii meaning Oluulu, Hawaii meaning agreeable, to be expressed with a feeling of pleasantness. The H stands for Ha'a Ha'a, Hawaii meaning humility, to be expressed with a feeling of modesty. And the last A is Ahonui, Hawaii meaning patience to be applied with perseverance on Akila. She made us proud to be Hawaiians. She gave us this, uh, this feeling to want to learn more about our culture, and more, learn more about our language, learn more about Hawaii. She gave us back Hawaii. My God is the word Aloha. Aloha is the word my kupunas attributed to the God, of, to the universe. It's just another word to say, Aloha is the universe. Aloha is a promise. The sun will shine.